All right, I wanted to do a, just kind of a little mini video here. Um, if you guys remember, we have a whole bunch of holes in our walls, like that one uh, that right down there. And, you know, all on the other side over here, these, these holes. I wanted to show you what's going in there. It's a product called Smart Vent. Um, it's a flood vent, which the whole principle is when, picture you're this box, right? So picture you're this box. So a box has an empty cavity of air. If I were to push against this box when it's full of air, it's really easy. And picture this was a boat, right? Boat hollow full of air and water current comes and pushes it. If it's, if it's filled with air, then it's much, a much easier, has a much easier time. The water has a much easier time to push that thing. So in, this, in the case of uh, flood vents, the, the concept is, okay, well, what if you strategically poke holes in this box? Then when a flood comes, instead of that flood water pushing against a giant uh, um, air pocket, that floats, <laughs> you instead have it fill with the water. So one, it's not pushing as hard just by the nature of water is able to flow in, but two, it's filling it. And so now the water is actually pushing, pushing against itself. And keep in mind in a flood situation, right? In a normal house, the water would hit it, hit a wall and then be forced around that house. And so that pressure just builds up, builds up, builds up. And so with a flood vent, if you poke holes in it, that water's going to come. Yeah, a lot of it's still going to get pushed around, but the inside's filling with water as well. Uh, so that means, um, you know, the, the, the water is again pushing against itself. And, you know, there's more water on the other side, that sort of thing. And so um, the product that we decided to use is called. So, uh, yeah, I'm. This is just what the, the area um, folks recommended. Sorry, that is backwards. <laughs> um, but we're using SmartVent. Uh, and so this, this product, as you can see here, you know, water's flowing in and out. Um, this is the product that we're using for, for venting. Now, what, what does it do though? Well, if you notice here, it's kind of holy. You can see through it. It's got these flaps that are there, which helps prevent you know, air and, and other things going through. If I push on this right now, it doesn't open, right? It does not open. But you see these little slits here and over here, <coughs> there's a little float in there. So as the, as the storm, the flood water comes, it's going to hit that float. And that float's going to come up and it's going to unlock this swing gate. So if I were to pretend I'm water, great. I just pushed open, you know, unlocked that, that float. Now this thing f swings freely in or out, right? And so you put enough of these penetrations and if the water's flowing into the house, you know, it's pushing along it, that little float floats up, it'll then open and even more volume, an even larger volume of water is now able to flow into that house. And so with the flood coming in, uh, that means again, the faster the water could come in, the less likely it's going to be pushing against that air envelope. And then once the flood passes, right, the water starts to flow out of the house or the water, the vents on the other side of the home right, they'll be like this, <laughs> um, that water is able to kind of push those open and, and then flood out. And so there's movement of water, there's elimination of that air uh, envelope, all for the, the moment the flood is happening. And so that's, that's what we're doing here is we, we use um, flood vent, uh, sorry, smart vent is the company that, that we're using. Um, it's just one of the big ones that I, I researched and saw and, and then the Department of Ecology um, said, you know, other homeowners in our area use them. So that's, um, uh, that's when we, when I talk about flood vents, <laughs> that's what, what we're talking about. Um, this, this company also does things like because of flooding events, not going to happen all the time. <laughs> um, we can, oops, so picture, picture this vent is going to be on the outside of the building 
right? So it's got a flange, and so it's going to be in there. Um, they sell attachments and stuff that kind of sit here in, so that the air doesn't move as much. Um, so it prevents the movement of air. And then in the time of flooding, that's made to break away. And so there's a lot of different things that we'll end up exploring with this once we get it in. But this was this, this whole remodel <laughs> boils down to the vents are one of the most critical things to make sure that this house um, survives the next floods. So they're working in conjunction with, you know, we also put eight inch stem walls of concrete and we've put them up four feet, um, which is the height that the road that you've heard in the background. You know, I've talked about that in other videos. Um, the road height that forms a dam when the flood, so <laughs> that road <laughs> way in the distance there, um, right there, um, that forms a dam when the floods water from the Humpty River comes through. Uh, and then our home is between it and where the water can drain. There's a little stream before, behind our home. And so this, this, these flood vents, all the work we've done with concrete um, is to get one a stronger foundation like that, that concrete. Um, those stem walls are super strong, so they should be able to withstand the force of the, the water anyway. Um, but the flood vents are that extra layer of security or that extra layer of... of um, safety that makes us feel better at the end of the day. So just wanted to take a, you know, share a quick video about what we're doing. Um, and uh, yeah, see you at the next video. I just wanted to show the box um, since <laughs> when I showed it on screen, it was, it was, it was backwards. So again, here's, here's the box of the product that we're using. Um, you know, it's got all the different sort of uh, models that they have framing everything like that and then the product themselves you know of course comes uh, and it's inside with its own instructions and and everything so some clips and stuff like that so you know i won't be able to comment on how good it was it it is until after we have a flood vent but a flood incident but uh, i think it's going to be a good product for us